your new champion, Wesley Visser. in the finals before I did anything and they already cheered louder than the whole pre-judging. So that already gave me energy. That also makes a difference. But now I know, okay, no matter what, I will show that night energy regardless. That's, that's the key. Because people who always criticized me in the past were like, he owned the stage. He, he was confident and it makes a difference. This, yeah. it, it, on that level, it's... Yeah, yeah. yeah and now, level, now I don't have a choice. Because, because the point is, that was the main reason he beat Ramon. Okay guys, here we are outside the R Classic UK with of course my lovely coach, Stefan Kienzel, the boss of Outlaw. And we made something incredible happen yesterday. And uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about that a little bit, about what happened the last couple of weeks. The magic. And also, yeah, and also the future. So yes, this competition was just incredible. I mean, we both in the morning, we had some pointers to fix with the energy, most of all, yeah. that I presented on stage. Because uh, yeah, you came to me immediately, you said everything is on point, except for the energy you show in the yeah. poses. And you can see how much of a difference that can make, because yeah, I wasn't confidently in the middle the whole time. You were, we were still doubting about, okay, am I gonna win this show or not? And that doubt did fire us up to show the energy later at night, which ultimately made a very big difference. But still you handled it, you know, that's, that's arguing on a, on a very, very high level. Yeah. I think the first, the situation, so if, we, if we do a little uh, go back to the Arnold Sohaya, the setback was a total different. Yeah. You knew you are your absolute best ever. Yeah. Everything was as we wished even a little bit better as we calculated it could be that year because yeah. Wesley that's the wonderful thing he's improving from season to season and if you think that's all no it's not there is a lot of more coming because yeah. there's still so much more potential which which can be uh, made awake out of his body but the situation in Columbus was just more easy um, the last check in before before the before the show or the night before the show there was so much happiness, so much yeah. greatness that we really now have the package we ever uh, wanted to yeah. have. And you stepped on stage, you know, for sure everybody of us wants to win, but yeah. you stepped on stage not, not as the defending champion. Yeah. So the only thing you could do was winning, yeah. Yeah. you know. You just, last time at the Arnold stage you had been 10th. 10th, yeah. 10th, yeah. something yeah. about that. Yeah. Olympia best place was uh, seven. seven. So, um, the only option for Wesley was winning, yeah. and he did, as we yeah. all know, historical. Um, I, all overall, the fourth Arnold Classic title for Netherlands, I would say. Yeah, William. Uh, William had three. William had three. Yeah, but it's not not only Ohio. He won. Uh, then let's just count Ohio. Yeah. So I think William won three. I think not three Ohio's. Not three. No. Oh, just two. Okay. Two. So it was yeah. the third um, Dutch. Um, a win of yeah. the of the Arnold Classic, which is yeah. just just incredible. Yeah, yeah. Um, and after that show, actually, we didn't have anything to change. We we needed to 
to have that easy work we already had until yeah. the Arnold um, Ohio. Yeah. Um, keep you healthy, keep you um, on a good energy level and we, we dialed it in again, very yeah. brilliant. Yeah. But at the meet and greet, there were some changings. Yeah. The, uh, if you have seen, and I'm sure you have seen it on the, on the YouTube channel, the line the people wanted <laughs> to see Wesley, it was nuts. Uh. It was nuts. It was yeah. such a crazy, crazy yeah. um, communication level. The fans, everything wanted to have something from him. Everything knew he's going to be winner of the show. And I think even if it's not permanent there and you say, OK, that doesn't stress me, but I think everybody would be a little bit stressed of yeah. such a situation. It's it's like at Ohio, before I won the show, I had a kind of a line, but it wasn't really, I could stand here for like a minute, had no one, and then someone comes up. And, no, now I had yeah, to throw yeah. you out. And now, this, this is the first time I ever had to disappoint people and say, I'm sorry, even though there's a line from front to back, I, I have to go. We because need to you have to show. think about the show. I have never experienced that quickly of a jump from a small line where you can meet everybody to a huge line where you have to cut it off. And that was mentally a big difference for me as well. But also something I've only shared with Stefan uh, was my digestion. It was, to, be, to say it nicely, it was messed up. Like two days before, the most important days where, you, where your digestion needs to be perfect with the carb load, it, it, it was just messed up. So that plays with your mind as well. You're like, oh, I... I we weighed, hear that we smelled it. Yeah, my, my <laughs> weight was the lowest yet. Toilet. Yeah, <laughs> the toilet was exploded. But my weight was so low that I knew I have to load because if I'm flat, yes, I can be conditioned, but I'm, if I'm flat and those other guys like even Michael, Brian and Earth, of course, if they are fuller, it can change things. Mm -hmm. So I knew I, that was in the back of my mind. But I also knew I'm the best conditioning ever. So in your mind, you're like, it has to come together again like Ohio like you say, first you had nothing to lose, but now you have everything to lose. So it has double effect mentally and physically was also a little messed up. So And as you know, I really think that there's the connection also. Yeah. Because I think especially those for all you out there, bloatings or on the other side, uh, diarrhea, yeah. are very often connected to the actual uh, psychological stress yeah. the body has. So yeah. the job was to deal with that. And immediately next day, you woke up better. We, had, yeah. we, we, we scheduled it, we, yeah. we set our game plan, yeah. we did the mental work, um, and it was better in the morning. Especially when he started to pose, he came awake, he yeah. came alive, and in the evening show, what should I say? <laughs> it was bang I, on. I have this man to thank for that. It was bang on. He told me after Ohio, Okay. No, it was it was it was a teamwork. Okay. It, Marley it, and it, Stefan. It, it they was a teamwork. They told me after Ohio. Okay. There's one thing I want you to change, <laughs> and that is the posing music, because the posing music you you have now is it's boring. It's too soft. It doesn't fit your physique. And then I was like, he's right. I'm not a artistic uh, classic classical music guy. I'm a metal guy, just like the boss of Outlaw here. So I we, we, we searched the next day right away for a lot of metal songs. We were like, okay, which one are we going to choose? And we heard this one and we're like, yes, this ah, is going to be it. This is going to be it. And then, it, of course... It was so funny because, you know, I didn't know how Mali is going to react. Yeah. And immediately after the show... I like that, by the way. I want, I want one. <laughs> immediately... <laughs> Immediately after the show, I went to Mali and said, <laughs> he has to change that. I, yeah. I can't stand that anymore. Yeah. And she immediately said, yeah, <laughs> you are yeah. right. Yeah. I, I also don't like it. Yeah, yeah, but I was like, what did you think about his routine? And I was like hoping that he said, <laughs> I, I hate the music. And I was like, both at the same time, we should have to change the music. But, uh, I yeah. asked uh, Stefan that he will tell it to you because otherwise, yeah, it's, it's better that he tells it then. But I when you're at this level, you got to take the risks sometimes. Yeah, and in true. my mind, this was a risk because it was like, ooh, metal and being a classic bodybuilder, will that fit? And then we were like, no, yeah, it, it, do it. It, 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 it. I it. just wanted it, to say, it, it in, is you. You in, 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 his, yeah. in his way, it's just, yeah. yes, it fits. 
energy, energy from. from. Yeah. yeah. Energy from. Because yeah. otherwise you can't give yeah. energy from the exactly. problem. Yeah. Exactly. And so yeah. yesterday turned out with another incredible victory. Yeah. A two times, or I would say, I'm a little bit, there I'm strict. It's one time Ohio, one time UK. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. For me, it's not, it's one, one. But not the, not two. Yeah, but I'm it, the old school guy. Yeah, but they did say it does. It has never happened. I think that the same guy won a back to back Arnold. No, I don't think so. And that's that was a, also a very special thing. I hope Diogo does today. Yeah, <laughs> Diogo, that was Diogo's turn. So that will be incredible for sure. I uh, want that back to back. Practice. Yeah, wow, that will be amazing. But yeah, I mean. Right now, the next stop will be the Olympia. Next up will yeah. be Olympia. The working schedule is easy as it always yeah. was. Yeah. Um, we know that, as I said before, that the potential isn't uh, fully uh, fulfilled. No, no. Uh, we still need density in uh, from the lower, uh, from from the insertion of the lats downwards until. I actually I like the I really start to like the hamstrings because the, also the way you control and you, how you get the adductors out that 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 matches quite yeah. good. Uh, but even now when you are able to display much wider legs from 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 the rear, yeah, we need those glutes, we need those density yeah. in that area that has to to, sure. to get a little bit better. Yeah, and I think that's that's the only thing uh, yeah. which needs to be done. Yeah, and and guys. I know a lot of you guys don't like the way I hit the back double bicep and that's exactly, I hit it that way to make my legs look bigger, but now we have a couple of months to create more muscle mass, which allows you to pose it better. Because Tyler Mannion himself, the first thing he said is, do the back double bicep for me. Do them the way you did it on the stage and now do them the way that you think would be best, but then uh, in contraction. Like, yeah, 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 but then I was, I was like, well, the size is missing. Yeah. There. But he said, he actually said, well, I actually like this one more, mm -hmm. even though, yes, the adductors disappear, but you do get more sweep on the outside mm -hmm. because you put your legs forward a bit more, creating more sweep. But I said, well, even though the mass is missing in the middle now, we can now build it to the Olympia. Yeah, and a exactly. lot can happen in these few months. Exactly. So that's gonna, that's a missing puzzle piece, which we're gonna try to fill in, and then it will all come together. And that's the goal for sure. Yep, it's going to be an exciting battle. Going for the Olympian title. Yes, we're going for we're going it. It's really it. possible now, so very exciting. Well, once again, guys, it was a very successful expo. Yeah, I keep saying it, but I'm very gracious for the amount of people who come up to me. And I always feel a little guilty whenever I leave when I'm still aligned, but you know, it's part of the game now. I try to greet and take pictures and sign stuff with as many people as possible. But uh, you know, we all have a schedule. So I thank to everybody who was in line, who wanted to take a picture. Truly appreciate the golden support. And uh, yeah, I'll be at the Olympia, of course, or at the FIBO and maybe some other places. But I'll announce all of that on here and of course my Instagram at Wesley Vissers. Diogo, come on. Maryland muscle machine himself, high mini superstar Kevin Lavroni, Diogo Matsumoto. Oh, oh, I had a feeling, I had a feeling. Well, second place is still incredible, of course, but would have been nice if we had a back to back victory together. Both coached by the boss of Outlaw. The second place is still awesome. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you, Kevin. Well, that concludes the All Classic UK, guys. It's special because now we just witnessed that Hardy won again. And I think, alongside with Hardy, I'm the only one who won the uh, Arnold back-to-back, -back, which makes it even more special, seeing as Hardy is a previous Mr. Olympia, which could actually become Mr. Olympia again this year, is one of my, you know, careful predictions. Could very well happen. But we are uh, cleaning up, filling the suitcases again, because tomorrow we are going home to uh, truly start the off-season out right. And I'm very excited about it, for sure. The future is bright, guys. The Olympia is coming. 
we have more than 200 days left until the Olympia is here and I'm going to do everything in my power to improve my physique within those 200 days and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of things will happen. Just make sure you will be subscribed to this channel because as you've seen with the previous videos and this video, we keep leveling up the content and a lot more is coming for the Dutch Oak. Thank you once again for the support guys, I truly, truly appreciate it. And this is just the beginning guys, I'm super excited, super motivated and thankful for all of your support. Again today also at the expo, the line was absolutely enormous which is something I appreciate so much. So thank you very much and of course don't forget to stay golden.